Hello everyone and welcome to my first video back. This is Leroy and he is a schnoodle. Watch me do something a little bit different on him today. I'm going to do one pump of Chris Christensen Smart Wash Shampoo. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so nice and I'm going to shampoo him twice just to make sure he's extra clean. When you are shampooing, it's really important to make sure you scrub in between those tricky areas like the feet and the armpits and around their hygiene area. These areas are often left dirty and it's really hard to groom them if they're left dirty. It's facial time! We absolutely love the blueberry facial here. We massage it into the face to remove those stubborn eye bogies that are really tricky to get out and it leaves a lovely fresh blueberry scent. Next I use the water magnet towel to remove the excess water which helps with the drying time. Once I've rinsed the dog I just gently squeeze over this towel. It's a really good way to check that the dog is one fully rinsed out of all the shampoo and also just to remove that excess hair just to help with the drying time it speeds up massively. Now he's on the table before I fluff dry him I'm going to clean his teeth. Dental hygiene is so important for the dogs and they don't brush their teeth like we do twice a day. Well, I hope you brush your teeth twice a day. So it's really important to give them a good teeth brush. Now it's blow dry time. I use my double K blaster to dry most of the dog. I actually blast off a lot of my dog with the blaster and not a stand dryer. I just use the stand dryer at the end to dust over. I use the slow motions to straighten the coat at the root and it leaves a really nice finish. Prep is absolutely everything on a dog. Without good prep, you cannot do a good groom. Whilst the dog is still slightly damp, I use some Wonder Coat spray. I find this really helps manage the coat and leaves it really nice to scissor. Now it's time to comb him out. It's very important when you're combing to go to all the hidden areas like the armpits and the toes. This helps your blade go through or your attachment comb go through the coat after you are finished prepping them and ready to groom them. Now I'm using my super new snazzy designer dog clippers courtesy of Christie's Direct. I love these. Not only do they look amazing but they leave a really smooth finish. I'm going to use my 4F blade on his body and then I'm actually going to skim off of his legs and then into a comb 4 attachment on his legs. The owner likes them a bit longer and I find if I do them on a 4 it just leaves them looking a bit pin leggy. So I like to leave them a bit longer. Now his owner requests a schnauzer trim on this dog, but it's actually very hard to do. As you can see, he has such a woolly coat, so it's really hard to get a schnauzer trim on him, but we do the best that we can. This video is a great representation of what we see in the salon a lot. I personally, for my own self, would love to give him a super cute rounded face and a donut beard, but his owner absolutely hates that style um, and likes the full schnauzer beard. Sometimes we have to complete grooms outside of our comfort zone and ensure our customers' expectations are met. This is really important to keep your customers happy because it's not our dog and he does look very cute in the schnauzer trim at the end. I actually don't leave a skirt on Leroy. Although he is in a schnauzer trim, it's really hard to get his skirt looking normal because it does stick out where his coat is so woolly so I actually take the skirt off but leave the legs and the head in a schnauzer style. On the head I'm going to use a 4F on top of the head and down the cheeks just to give that schnauzer look by taking those areas really short it accentuates the beard. I'm going to leave the hair on the beard and the eyebrows and scissor that later. I'm going to use a 7 off in the ears. The owner doesn't like them too short as he does get really irritated. He's got very sensitive ears so I'm not going to clip inside of them. Normally I would clip inside the ears as well to remove any of the bulk of the hair inside but I'm not going to do that on him. These jelly neck straps are honestly amazing. I absolutely love them. They're so so good. They're easy to clean and really easy to use. When you're clipping the throat always make sure that you pull it really taut and point the dog's nose up to the ceiling. This is really important to avoid any injuries to the throat as it's a very common area to catch with the clippers. Oh, that's just me singing along to myself as usual. <laughs> it's very important to enjoy yourself at work. 
it's time for the attachment four all over the legs. I just use this to remove the bulk of the hair. Often with schnauzers, I actually hand scissor the legs, but he is only in with us 10 weekly, so it needs to last him and he does get a bit tangly. So by using the attachment four, we just find it really helps last over that time. I actually use a 30 blade under my attachment combs, but many people use a 10 or even a 15. It's really important to remember that neither is wrong and it is personal preference to which you prefer. So now it's time for my scissors. I have my Luminosa small curves, my Aureus thinners, my Aureus straights, and my Aureus curves all ready to go. I absolutely love both of these ranges of scissors, the Luminosa and the Aureus are my favorite and they are my everyday pairs of scissors that I always use. First, I round the feet with my small curves and take off anything that's overhanging the pad. This is really important to create a tidy and well-rounded beveled foot. I then dust over the legs with my scissors. I often use straights on the legs and then curves on certain areas to leave a nice finish and get any of those little niggly bits that the attachment comb has missed. Now it's time for his head. I actually personally, as a very experienced groomer, find his head so tough to do even now. He naturally has a really woolly coat, as I said before. So to get it to lay down into a schnauzer trim is honestly nearly impossible. It's very, very hard. So it really does test my skills, which I actually really enjoy. So it takes a lot of thinning. I use my thinners and I also use my straights to add that nice sharp line down the side. But it does take quite a lot of work to get it to lay flat. I use my thinners to split the brows and then my straights to take the sharp line from the corner of the eye out to leave nice sharp brows. I actually use my thinners on top of his eyebrows as well. I wouldn't normally do this on a schnauzer but again with the woolly coat it just really helps those eyebrows sit right. And then next I would just edge his ears with my small scissors just to create a nice clean neat ear. And ta-da! There we go, that is Leroy all done. We have a nice pet schnauzer trim on a lovely little schnoodle. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you soon.